I am Krista Goyne, and I rode in the London 2012 Olympic Games in the women's eight for rowing, and I brought home a silver medal. I'm from Vancouver, and I just started crossfitting in the last month. I think the thing about rowing that makes it unique and special is that it's that it is such a challenge that even those who are successful or doing well at rowing always are working on something. There's always tasks or technical focuses and I think like anything, I mean, even if you think of like CrossFit, it's always that challenge. You walk in the door every morning or you go to practice every day and there's something that you're going to try to do better and you're going to give your 100% for. So I think that constant, um, you know, challenge for me and that focus to try to do something that I really enjoyed better um, is what perpetuated and just kept me going. Um, that's what kept me so dedicated. To get to that, that ugly place to kind of, you know, like bury your head in the pain kind of mentality, I think, uh, for me, the training, obviously, you train and you uh, physiologically prepare yourself to be able to do that, but then on that day, once you finally get to that place, it's about um, doing it from your heart and doing it for your teammates. I found that for me, working with and for other people was the key to me doing as much as I did or going as hard as I did or digging for that extra, you know, that extra something. It was about not letting my teammates down and I realized coming out of the experience that I'm a crew person, I'm a team person and um, once again that's what I like about CrossFit is that working against and with each other, with other people and, and that, that benchmark, having that always there, it puts that level of competition in place without even trying. Krista is a joy to work with. She's um, obviously a top tier athlete who's coming into CrossFit with a kind of a, a beginner's mindset, which is real, real refreshing. You know, she's got a lot of, she's got the raw material to make a dominant athlete. Well, she is a dominant athlete, but um, she just uh, approaches this like every day is a school day, which makes it so easy for me as a coach to teach her how to, you know, pass, dribble, and shoot, you know, teach her the sport of CrossFit. Um, yeah, I just really dig working with her. Over the years, it's been 11 years now that I've been rowing, and in a lot of ways, rowing has kind of become a large part of who I am. And I think, um, you know, being able to come out here and work on my things and focus on myself has become a big outlet. Um, um, and kind of like an emotional experience for me in a lot of ways and when I take a break like after a season and I haven't been training as much I come home and I come to you know Burnaby Lake and you're rowing out there and there's bald eagles and the water you can hear the sounds of the water and it's just like oh this is why I do this and this is why you know you go through all those hard moments where you're wondering you know what am I doing this all for and those dark days and then you realize like oh this is it this is why I do this and um, I think, you know, when I move on from rowing, I'm always going to try to find that and I'm always going to be looking for that thing that I can um, use to push myself and to kind of, uh, you know, release that energy and then, yeah, like start your day off right kind of thing. And for me and right now, I think CrossFit is my next challenge and that thing that I can focus my energy on and try to get better at. The reason why CrossFit is a natural fit for me in some ways and not others because it's definitely not a natural fit in terms of my physical strengths. Um, it definitely tests me on that level, but where it is a natural fit is in the structure that it provides and the, the goal, the goal setting, the benchmarks. Um, I think that a lot of things that I've learned from rowing I can transfer to CrossFit and then the, the great part about it is that it's going to challenge me to be better at things that I see as weaknesses maybe. Um, so yeah, not only do I get to use what I'm strong at, but I also get to gain strength in areas that I am, um, I don't want to say weak, but that I could do better. So um, that's kind of where it's a natural progression and um, something that I'm inspired to do. One of the really cool things about it is that what you can achieve in there are things that you've written yourself off to never be able to do. And that even, you know, for me, 
For example, climbing the rope was something that I was proud of when I walked out of the gym that day for being able to even get halfway up the rope when I thought that there was no chance I was getting even, you know, one meter up that rope. So I think that's what that can offer that can be offered to anyone. Anyone can walk through those doors and to and learn and get better and become stronger. So it's pretty cool.